hi the next topics like um, here we have some options okay fail parent if the task fails or fail parent this task does not run parent nothing but workflow here disable this task so you have option and or okay any one of that we can select okay so basically in real time we are enabling fail parent if the task fails and uh, some other properties also we have like uh, so here we are using relational connections uh, instead of that we can use parameterized connections also okay uh, so oh, the, these parameterized connections or will help uh, when you are migrating the data uh, like no no when we are deploying the data from one department to another department so uh, department wise the database connections are different usernames passwords also different means in the development uh, the connections are different and uh, in testing different in production different when you are deploying the uh, workflows instead of changing manually we can create parameterized uh, connections so for uh, like mapping level parameter also this is also same workflow name dot session name we can use and uh, dollar source equal to uh, dollar source connection equal to Scott dollar target connection is equal to uh, some other users like that we can mention and then we can change the connections in using parameter okay so when you are doing deployment that will be easy instead of changing the connections we can use parameters this parameter file we are giving in the workflow level workflow edit in properties we have this parameter file okay and uh, in configuration object so we have override tracing so we can change into wopos data when you are using wopos data you will get in each and every mapping level means I mean mapping we are using source and target source qualifier other transmissions also so each and every record in each and every transmission we will get in detailed data in session log okay so if you want to debug any issues we can change into wordpress data and we can get the each and every record in detail information in session log but when you are my when you are deploying the data we need to change into normal that is very very important otherwise we will get performance issues sometimes because to create the session log file it will take some time to create the session log so that is also sometimes performance issue we we will get so that's why when you are deploying the code into any other department this tracing level we need to change into normal and in properties we you have data driven option in mapping you are for example you are doing inserts updates and deletes at that time here we need to maintain data driven otherwise if you in your mapping if you are doing only inserts you can select inserts if if it is insert here if you are trying to update anything in the mapping it will not support only insert operation will work what are the conditions for in the session level those are the final conditions final properties for this mapping okay so that's why the session properties everything will override the mapping level conditions okay you are in in the mapping if you are inserting a record and you are updating records but here you mentioned only update operation so it will not insert any record into the target just it will took only update records okay and we have commit type 
commit interval on source and target we have commit type this commit type in some projects when you are loading multiple millions of records we have the, this commit in 10,000 is uh, its default commit interval we can reduce this commit interval also in my project we work with cloud application for that cloud application for the sum of the object when you are trying to load more than 20 records at a time so we will get timeout issues so because of that reason they change that commit interval on source only 20 so like that we can we can manage the intervals means from source it will read 20 record then it will pass into target so like that it will split that records 20 20 20 bunch it will pick that record and it will pass okay we can change that commit interval also okay and next this is parameter file path this is the session log default this is the session log directory these are the important I'm explaining so in target also you have option insert update as update update as insert so here also if you disable any options like uh, you are trying to insert some records into target but if you disable this option it will not insert any records into the target okay like here we have one more option truncate truncate option also we have so for each and every load if you want to delete the target data just we can enable this to truncate the target table okay for every execution it will truncate the target tables okay. and in session level we have partition concepts also so means partition means a uh, for example from your source you are getting some millions of records some 10 lakhs records records for example so for execution it is taking time so you thought you want to split that record into multiple load okay we can create the partitions on session level so we can create multiple partitions two three four okay so based on that partitions it will split that record 1 to 25,000 first partition 25 to 50 second partition 50 to 100 third partition like that it will split that record count into multiple partitions based on the partition type and part number of partitions so that is a licensed version topic so that's why we there is no option to explain in detail on the partitions but using partitions we can improve the performance we can split that row source records into multiple partitions so this is one concept and we have one more concept also that is push down optimization push down optimization we are that is also licensed version push tone optimization also push tone optimization we are using instead of running each and every query each and every logic in informatica using push tone the same logic from source side target ad we can create push tone the same logic it will run in the back end in the database so what are the operations we are doing in Informatica? This that same operations it will do in the database using push tone on source and target. Okay, so automatically using push tone it will improve the performance. So this is one thing, and workflow level also we have uh, one more in properties here configure concurrent executions here using session partitions we can split only source okay but using this concurrency configuration concurrent execution we can split 
we can create multiple instances of entire workflow okay so it will create multiple instances of the workflow the same workflow then it will split the data into the multiple instances for example 1 to 100 first instance 200 to 101 to 200 second instance like that like that we can split the entire workflow into multiple instances okay so here we have to create the parameter file in that parameter file we have to give start value 1 end with 101 so when the end value reaches the maximum cone the execution will stop so like that we have to create the conditions the parameters and the limit of the records also okay so using these options we can improve the performance of the workflows and sessions okay these are the advanced concepts in the workflow designer thank you